G up there. Meet Ron Beautiful, isn't he? You walk towards him and you fuck and you wait. If he fucks back, you're allowed to touch him. Give me a go at that thing. This'll be easy. Now. Hello everyone, Liam here. Welcome back to Hermione Granger and featuring these two Muppets. Like Ron's just trying to communicate with a wardrobe and then Harry is wistfully looking into the distance, not knowing where anything or anyone is. Anyway, welcome back. <laughs> Weird place to put a chest right in front of the door, but fair enough. What's it gonna be? Probably a wizard's card. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Ron agrees. Get out of the way, Harry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, that was a weird shot of Harry. <laughs> yep, just, just grab random beans from the bookshelf, Ron. Very hygienic of you. This is why the game is so long. Because of these goddamn loading screens. Jesus Christ, that came down well quick. You can tell they've changed it up a bit because the door to the entrance hall used to be this way. But now it's over here. Magic. Out the way. Harry is just always in the way. <laughs> just look at Slytherins. Yep, it just keeps on filling up. It just keeps going down. That's just Snape just dishing out points. He probably just dished out like 50 million points. All right, to the spooky dungeon. The more attentive of you will remember that the most powerful form <laughs> told you is prepared potions. with Odin. Mr. Weez Weez. Oh, God, he's drugged Harry. While you are in my class, you will... Harry! <laughs> Oh no, Harry breathed in Rehypnol. Oh. Jesus Christ, look at him. Here what happened to his right. face? Now. He looks like Michael McIntyre. Stop messing about. Two seconds. I see you have a chest. Great. Great. Mr. Weasley, that's my special parchment. Bring Potter here. All right then, Master. Someone's eager. This is the only use that Ron has so far, just finding hidden doorways, which can be visibly seen by everyone, and carrying Harry. Here you go, Snape. I bring you... Harry. Oh god, what's Harry doing to Malfoy? Not in potions. <sighs> Dirty boy. Pick up both vials of Wiganweld potion from the table. Hmm. I know I'm supposed to be doing something, but I don't know what. Pick up the potion vials from the table, Mr. Weasley. I don't know how. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Weasley. You actually managed to do what I asked. Give me ten points to Gryffindor now. God, I'm getting really tired of hearing Harry hyperventilate in my ear. What happened? I will let Mr. Weasley give you a full explanation. Although his incompetence speaks for itself. <laughs> his nose looks squashed. So... You will now be gathering the ingredients for the antidote to uncommon Weasleys in your own time. Ready for my next lesson. You are to bring fire seeds, billywig stings, chis purple carapaces, and the horn of Mr. Weasley. Class dismissed. Well, I'm exhausted. Oh, God. I wonder when this was going to happen. The house point totals are to be counted. Oh, God. We've got to go through this again. At least he's gotten quick at announcing them. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Slytherin is in the lead. No shit. Harry continued to worry about the Dementors and Black. Harry got to help Neville. Again? What? Oh, is he like stuck behind Neville a fucking tapestry again? On the fifth floor, and Malfoy's lot found him and visited him in the Muggle Studies classroom. And they've released a ghoul. Where's Hermione? In the girls' dormitory. She's finding it easy to. Well. I suppose it's you and me then, Ron. Oh, for God's sake. No. <laughs> Why couldn't it not be just Hermione? Why does it have to be these two dummies? <laughs> it's Neville's room. Did you see his Potter and Weasley? Oh, for God's sake. What's happened to Ron? He's got a pumpkin on his head. Where are you hiding, Malfoy? <laughs> He's just briskly walking past me. Go on. Clear off, Malfoy. We did it. <laughs> Why does Ron sound so patronising? Yeah. But we've still got to save the ghoul from Neville. Just leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is that? What is that? Is that one of the, uh, is that one of Ron's brothers? Or is that, was that Mr. Filch? Looks like Mr. Filch. It's okay! The old Weasley touch does it again! <laughs> <sighs> oh god, why am I just- why are we just being attacked by toys? <laughs> I'm just getting owned by a fucking rubber ducky. 
<laughs> it can't hurt that much, surely. There's got to be something in here I can use. A spell book? <laughs> Where's the music? Oh god, the air is filling up with poisonous gas. They look like little floating condoms. So Ron's uh, capabilities is for Pando, Expelliarmus and a torch. Go into the light! What I'm always telling my grandfather. Did I just hear a baby cry? Oh my god, are these ghost babies? If they are, then this is really effed up. Literally how bright my phone is if I uh, turn it on during the night. God, these mannequins are really creepy. Yep, just walk into the bright light, Ron. Neville's probably dead by now. Harry's, yeah, both Harry and Neville are probably both dead. Oof. <laughs> Oof. How's Harry getting on? Yep, my thoughts exactly. Just, just what I thought. Harry's just aimlessly looking into the distance. <laughs> oh, poor Neville. He really does get the brunt of it, doesn't he? Oh, great. <laughs> A robot. So, we meet again by light for the last time. I'm in the way. Harry, you're always in the way. Ron's just probably thinking, what the hell do muggles do in their spare time? Why do they keep such crazy psychotic things? Oh, this is a very exciting boss battle. Hermione took down a goddamn huge cauldron. <laughs> Ron just gets a tiny toy robot. Can you just imagine, like, in a few years' time, when Harry's setting up Dumbledore's army, he conjured a Patronus, he killed a Basilisk, and it cuts to Ron. Yeah, well, I killed a toy robot. Yeah, I did that. Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! No, Will Robinson! Danger! Blimey! Harry's now friends with the beast. Ron! Can't you lock it in there? Yes, that's what I'm doing, dumbass. That made me lock you in here as well. Back, I say! <laughs> Funny we'd lock Ron in there with him. Now, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! Get out! Okay, let's get back to the common room. Uh, forever saving Neville, little bastard, getting into trouble, making us come to your aid. Right, come on, gang, let's go to bed. Can we just end the day here? No, we can't end the day here. Of course not. Can't we go back to the common room now? Oh my god, shut up. Maybe we should have just locked Neville in there. I just want to go to bed. Can we go now? Oh, shut up, Neville. Oh, <laughs> God's sake. Don't make me kill you, because I will. Go on, Neville. Get in. Get in the hole. We need to find her. You'll be lucky. A shame your headship, sir, doesn't want to be seen. So I ran into the landscape on the fourth floor. <laughs> Crying something dreadful. <laughs> Nasty temper he's got, that serious black. What do you mean, Peeves? Did she say who did it? And to that effect, sir, that lady will be standing in for the fat lady. Now, I know you're all still very worked up about what's happened, but my advice would be for you all to- FUCK OFF! <laughs> what is Ron doing? <laughs> the school talked of nothing but Sirius Black following Hermione's assault on the fat lady Hagrid. Hagrid doesn't have a normal person's view of what's normal. Oh well, Ron. <laughs> Jesus, you're I'm not sure a normal person fine. either. It's his first lesson and he's probably more nervous than we are. All right, let's play as the main character, Hermione Granger. What the hell was that painting there? It was like a little birthday cake or something. If you're not careful, your brain's going to burst, you know? I appreciate your concern, Ron. Before I make you explode first. Let Hermione get in on the action here. That's good, Harry. Just stand there with the other idiots. Hermione's on a killing spree. Right, where is this goddamn badge? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> someone lost that. That's massive. Imagine wearing that. <laughs> oh, God, it looks dark and gloomy. <laughs> they really did um capture the essence of England here. Just shit weather. <laughs> oh, God, where are they? They're still at the entrance. <laughs> is this Stonehenge? Oh, I, I'm guessing this is one of our uh, ingredients. Sorry, Hagrid, you'll have to wait another five seconds. <laughs> Why did I have to add such a massive, bright beacon? <laughs> I'm on my way to a nightclub or something. Come on, Ron, your time to shine. Use that magical torch of yours. Come on, take the bait. Take the bait, you dumb fuck. That's it, come to Ronnie. Got to go to Hagrid's hut. Shut up, Hermione. I'm busy. Why are you late for my lessons, Ron, Harry and Hermione? Sorry, Hagrid, we care more about potions than your stupid animal class. That's it. We have all the chisp purple carapaces we need. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds so funny. All right, let's go to that fat oaf Hagrid. Meet Verk Beak. You always wait for a hippogriff to make the first move. It's polite, see? 
You walk towards him, and you bow, and you wait. If he bows back, you're allowed to fuck, fuck him. Harry, Ron, Hermione, who wants to fuck first? Ow! Bow to me, Hagrid. This is the best lesson ever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone, Hagrid. How about you, Buckbeak? No, stop it. Stop casting spells. Stop it. <laughs> Oh, Hagrid really it. must hate Ron right now. Stop casting spells. Oh, that's what you get, Ron. That's what you get. Hermione, why don't you have a go? Well done. I expect you'd like to fly him. Right. Catch as many as you can. Go on then. Sit in your thunder, Harry. As you know, Harry should do this. He's the main character. What on earth are you doing? I can only give that an F. What? <laughs> God, Hagrid really hates us. Where's the other? Why are we the only three people here? Bow to your sensei. Is that a bell? That did not look like a bell. Yeah, this is real exciting. At least I'm not going through rings again. Oh god, why is this so hard? Oh god, come on, get it right. It's cold and wet, and I just want to go indoors. I mean, they could have spread them out a bit more to make it a bit more exciting instead of just group them up. Where are they? I can't find it. The seeker from Gryffindor team can't even find a couple of bats. Oh, there they are. Alright, one more. One more. Come on, we can do it. I'm literally just uh, embarrassing Ron and Hermione right now. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, Scott, I'm not going to get it, so let's just hit Hagrid and Hermione and Ron. It is someone. I heard something. See, that deserves an A. Yeah, I did it. Where did everyone go? Where did they come from? Good work. Well, not dangerous at all, are you? You ugly great brute. Malfoy, good work. No! Oh. Kiss me, you fools. It's just a scratch. You're dying. As the Gryffindor team struggled against the weather, Harry caught sight of a giant black dog. <laughs> Why is he the only one spectating? Why is he there? Fell across the stadium and a horribly familiar wave of cold All <laughs> these people look, they look, they look like cardboard cutouts. <laughs> what is going on here? Dementors swarmed over the pitch, and with his mother's screams ringing in his ears, Harry fell from his broom and knew no more. And then he died. All was well. The end. Harry slept restlessly in the hospital wing sinking into dreams full of clammy, rotted hands and petrified pleading. God, what the hell was he dreaming about? It sounds more like a wet dream. Hello? Ron? Quiet. I know where Sirius Black is. He's down in the dungeons. Follow me. Is this still a dream? Ron? Oh, look at Harry and his little jammy jams. Take that. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. What the hell? I'd like to know the story of what happened here. Oh, god damn it, that fucking hurt. Jesus, he must have serious brain damage right now. See, I know that's definitely not the real Ron, because Ron would never use the word imbecile. He probably doesn't even know what it means. Oh god, this boss battle was taking forever. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Zoned out for a little bit there. Don't come back, you loony! Oh no, Peeves' semen has stuck him to the floor. About Sirius Black. He's come in the dungeons. Okay, well, thanks for shutting the door behind you. To be fair, he does a convincing Ron anyway. Like, the real Ron is definitely that rude as well. I can vouch for that. Is he not just questioning right now? Like, why the hell is he, like, three floors ahead of me? God, is this is Harry this gullible? I knew he was gullible. I didn't realise he was this gullible. Ron, what are you doing? We can't take on Sirius Black on our own. Come on. Yeah, Ron would never be that eager. Wait, wait, wait where is Ron? If I go in here, will, will Snape be in here? Nope, just another loading screen. Yep. <laughs> Late night potions class. Oh, what's this uh, Snape's got in his desk? Probably absinthe, right? Oh my god, he's still got a Bunsen burner still on. Think about your gas bill, mate. Even in these dark times. Look, we've got to get Professor Dumbledore. Will you shut up? He's in the corner. <laughs> go on. <laughs> Oh, Ron should be like this all the time. <laughs> Ron? Apologies, Potion. I think we're even now. Ron? Good night, Potion. 
Let's go the fuck to sleep. Ron! How did you know where I was? Peeves! He couldn't wait to tell someone what Draco was up to. No, don't get in. Oh, for God's sake. How are you going to pull me out now? Ron, it's great that you came down to save me, but how the fuck are we supposed to get out now? Right, anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Again, with these two dummies. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. It's up to you. I'm not forcing you, but if you do, then by all means. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll see you next Tuesday. Good work. Hmm. Leave me alone. <laughs> hmm.